Hi there guys, my name is John from HomeKitAuthority.com and in this video I'm going to take you through how to group HomeKit accessories together to control them as one device. Now this is part of a series of videos that's coming out that's going to take you through how to use HomeKit and how to get the most out of Apple's HomeKit platform. Now don't forget to subscribe as it's greatly appreciated and also don't forget to comment or like because it really helps me out and also if you ask a question I will respond. If you want to find out more HomeKit stuff you can check out this channel have a look around or you can check out the link in the description below which takes you to the website which has got loads of HomeKit news and reviews. So thanks very much. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to talk about why we group accessories together. HomeKit devices work normally independently, but you may have some scenarios in your home where you've got devices that you want to control as one. For instance, in my bathroom, I've got four LED downlights that I control as one device. So when I go into the bathroom, the Philips motion sensor sets off them lights at the same time. I've also got some smart blinds in my bedroom and in my kitchen. Well, actually all the way from my house, but some of them are grouped together so the controlled as one so that is really useful but i just want to point out when you group accessories together then they are controlled as one as i've mentioned that means that if you want to control an individual device you have to go into some more deeper menus in order to do that so that can be a bit troublesome so that's worth pointing out but in the whole this is a real big benefit so it's worth doing so first of all you need to get the apple ohm app in order to get started. Now, once you've got the Apple Ohm app, all you do is navigate to the room where the devices are installed. You open the first accessory by 3D touching any of those and you then tap the settings cog. Uh, once you're in the settings, you've got an option under group header to group with other accessories. You then have uh, then got the option to select devices. Now, in this case, I'm using it with some blinds and I'm going to group these blinds together. I select all the blinds and then once you've selected them all, you click done. Now, once that's all done, the blinds will be grouped together and you'll be able to control them as one. It'll be one tile. I've already mentioned that if you want to control them individually, again, you can click 3D touch into the tile and you can go into uh, the accessories individually. Now, if you don't want them grouped together, you also can do this exactly the same 3D touch and ungroup accessories. Very easy to do and very simple and very useful if you want to control devices together within a room. So guys, that's the end of the video. There will be more HomeKit guides coming out over the next couple of weeks. So don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you've got a question or comment, leave it in the comment section below. And also don't forget to check out the website there's more HomeKit news and reviews. Thanks for watching HomeKitAuthority.com and I'll speak to you soon.